In the world, you can find models everywhere. These models represent objects of the real world. For example, the Eiffel Tower or the map of Germany. In the next two minutes, I want to start you thinking about the whole of semantic web technologies in designing models, particular models of software. To represent models, we use different notations according to the knowledge area. For example, in architecture, we use blueprints to represent buildings and bridges. And of course, notations to model software. In software engineering, we use notations like UML, the Unified Modeling Language. These notations are understandable for human beings, but in a different way for computers. Notations require preview knowledge about the meaning of each symbol, but computers understand them in a different way. For example, that's what we understand, and that's what computers see. Imagine if computers could help you to find patterns in successful past projects. Our objective is to enable computers to better understand software models using semantic web technologies like reasoning and ontologies.